Hey guys, what's up? We're here. Battle for Middle Earth Tournament. September 19th. It's 10.17 a.m. Eastern. What is, what is that? Um, fucking 11.17 p.m. Korean Standard Time. 4.17 p.m. <laughs> Central European Summer Time. Anywho, we're out here. We got the, we got a we got a whole international scene. Game. This is, I guess, match one, game one. Team Martin versus Team HKA Hill King Aragorn. We got Capiche on Gondor. Real, real solid guy. Real sexy guy. That Capiche. We got Wampa on Brohan. Lurts on Teal. Martin on the Fellowship. Ellie. On Fangorn, miss the other guys. We'll give we'll give them a little shout out once this starts up proper. Anyway, if you're watching the stream, I have a one minute delay, so I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a little uh, so on the other team we got uh, the captain Hill King Aragorn on Isengard, super dry. The a very very excellent gray player, lampshade on light blue. Ensa on the Nazgul and OMG it's high on brown. I don't really know OMG it's high that much, so let's see what, what happens. Typically in the past, oftentimes we get um a rush on Isengard. Well that happened this game. I think that it's become so common that people often I think that they nerfed its its viability too. So people often opt against rushing Isengard as of late, but we'll see. This is maybe we'll see that every game. But the last tournament, you know, it's rush Isengard, rush Isengard, rush Isengard. But I see a lot of fights shape up like here more so. Sometimes people even go south. So Teal's just gonna skip. Oh, it looks like he got the he got the red camp quick and dipped. So Teal real fast camp he's gonna rotate up let me turn on sound sorry let me fix sound sorry amazing technology turn the stream should be up right okay um, hundred dollars on good forces. Samwise puts the bet down. So we got like a huge fight shaping up. Super Joy's picking off units in the east. Gonda Rohan and Teal consolidating. Brown and Nazgul are kind of like shaping up to react. Looks like Super Joy is just gonna take a quick, quick pick on Fangorn Forest. So we haven't really seen much happen. There's been a lot of dancing around, a lot of small unit picks. Ansa's just gonna nuke down a couple of knights as they try to get a surround off. Oh. Oh! Oh boy, dude, why? <laughs> Come on, Wampa. Come on, man, you slip in, dude. He did, f he did so much more than pick off a knight. He picked off a whole fucking, uh, who was that, Ewan? Gambling? He fucked off a whole gambling. I don't know, the other guy. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. I can increase the delay too. Should be fine though. All right, so. Oh, Lurtz is moving in on just clearing ships. That's gonna make it hard for Lampshade to take. Uh, what is he doing? Control of the sea. 
He's down too many ships already. He's even just going to get in there and try to take the base. While they're fighting, there's not really much he can do. Except maybe redirect spawns. He has his whole army north. So again, not much action, but seems like the forces of good have been taken. I've taken a small hit. I mean, they lost a hero, not a big deal. They lost Fangorn and... Oh, Skinbark is still alive. Looks like Lurd's got a pick on a hero that I missed. One minute's good. Yeah, it should be fine. I mean, you have to be basically. Goodbye. Looks like he is going to get Umbar. Ah, uh, Harrod lost the naval fight. That's how. Uh, he probably lost a hero in that debacle. Looks like good is up then, for sure. But, like, it's. Basically, we're gonna. We're probably gonna see two to three fights. We're gonna see one fight at max army, and we'll see how things, like, end. And then, depending on how that fight goes, it's either the game is gonna go on for a while, as. Oh! Gandalf is really in there, man. What? Oh, Aragorn lives through the skin of his teeth. Gandalf like came out with a sliver. That was a, I'd say, pretty bad engage by uh, Martin. He just kind of walked in there. But at the same time, Capetius pushing uh, border on the south, and I think. Oh boy, this is uh, Aragorn down, Kurgath down in this fight top. Um, looks like Denethor is trapped. We got uh, who's the jet going down? Pretty much a big shit show, but Mordor took the south battle, which means they'll be able to flank. And Isengard wasn't even in the fight yet, so Light Blue has lost three heroes from a clutch. Fanghorn uh, root blocking him off. Although, oh boy, this is gonna be a shit show. I don't even know who's. People are dying. I would imagine that that the bad guys are gonna win this, especially as uh, units are thinning out and Isengard comes with a fresh troop. We got Legolas taking some hits. We got Ensa poking down Caladriel. The Witch King is down. Oh, and the hero squads are prevailing, it seems. Selborn does go down. That's big. Oh, evil has aura from the base. That's huge. I mean, I'm... Oh, that's a dead Gandalf. Question mark. Well... All right, so we had our first full pop population fight. How did that end for everyone? Light blue lost a couple heroes, but it's Lampshade who's trash. Just kidding, just kidding. So, you know, no loss there. Um, bad spot for good. I do really think that evil came out on top there. Even though it seems like good got a couple more heroes, they were on Lampshade. So, all right, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Anywho, what did we, we lost Aragorn, we lost Celeborn, uh, I believe we only lost, like, the Witch King who revives. So, I think, I mean, uh, they, they played well, though, the, the forces of good played well, they played tight, that could have gone far worse for them. They could have lost, like, way more heroes because they were really squished. So, like, they were throwing down the team heals. Yellow 
Ellie's positioning is just, you know, that's why he was picked first out of everyone. He was just the first pick. Hey, he was everyone's first pick because, you know, some call him the legend. All right, so fight one's down. Fight two, people are going to wait for spawns. Down, Harad. These ships are going to make it difficult for... Yeah, we should check out food. Yeah, evil is... Uh... 20, 30, 40% up? Like, they really won that fight in terms of spawns. And if you look at experience, like when I was um, scrolling over, yes, this is how, yeah, this is what happens with BFME. There's a fight, and then everyone just like dilly dallies around until the next fight. So we get a, we get a nice little intermission until the next fight. I'm, I'm kind of joking, but uh, there was this fight down here with Capiche and uh, OMG It's High that was like a little isolated. And uh, over here, Bordor was really able to just like tear through Capiche's units. You can see he got a ton of experience. He and then he like wrapped around. Ensa too was just laying down frost novas and carry on swarms the whole time. Wampus feeding a bit. So I mean. Even though that, even though they're behind, I think that the forces of good are still going to want to uh, force a fight. Because, like, the longer this game goes on, at this point, the more favorable fights will become for for the bad guys. Super Dry will be able to kind of run around, pick bases. Oh, do we got something happening over here? A recall with over the. Uh... They don't need to defend south anymore, so they can sort of just rotate as needed. All right, we got our next fight. Uh, Dwyer got picked. Just like we got uh, some heroes on the front line trying to pick units. Ensa's really going in. On Boromir. Boromir is surrounded by Super Dry. He goes down just like the movies. They're retreating now into uh, to the forest. Into what's this place called? It's not a great choke point though. They're gonna get stuck on each other. They're gonna need some good team heals. They lost Anborn in that. I mean, losing Nazgul is disappointing, but not the end of the world. I think we lost uh, just one in that fight. Tree Treebeard versus uh, Badrick. Let's see it, dude. Let's see who's the bigger. Big fight happening. Blade, best observer ever. Oh, look. People are dying. I mean, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to give the state of the game. Oh, Grand is is about to get uh, surrounded, dude. They're just leaving Grand to dry. Is this a bait? Is this like some 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 next level strategy? Fuck up. Well, it wasn't a bait. So, a player's forces are under attack. We have, we have, we have. We've 
gone through two fights, so it looks like this game's going past. There might be like one, it depends on, it's all, you know, it always depends on the next fight, but at this point, bad guys are up a reasonable amount. Looking mostly at experience. Um, a player's forces are under well, at least just he was just skipping castles, I guess. Or when did he lose one? But he's uh, towering up um, Karas. Skinbark's still alive. Depending on how. If the good, if the if the forces are good to win the next fight, then they might be able to make a push, take a base, and swing things in their favor. If they lose the next fight, it's over. Like if they lose handedly, it's just they're probably gonna call it. If it's a slight loss, then we're just gonna see a drawn out game where both teams are trying to get a favorable fight. Look at that steed of Rohan. Look at this guy. He's just, it's just a horse, dude. He's just looking over the battle. Fucking majestic. It's a good scout. All right. It's a little overextended. Capiche is a little overextended. Oh, Ensa is just gonna, <sighs> nearly got a clear on Frodo. Good team hills. Uh, a couple of the Nazgul are Stuck behind their own units. Both teams are going to make the push. Lampshade's coming in for the flank. We got, we're going to get a nice big mama kill stomp. So they're going to retreat, which is, you know, they might have to do it, but they're going to lose a lot of. This is why uh, a drawn out fight does not favor the losing team because they're just going to keep pulling back. They're going to keep losing couple units here and there. I mean, what's our food looking like? Yeah, I mean, these guys are maxed. So on the one hand, I think they're trying to wait for full food, but they're also trying to, like, draw out a favorable engagement. Man, Capiche is so sexy today. Look at him. This stream is sponsored by QuickCast, by Kraslo. A um, <laughs> male supplement? That's what they call those, right? So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a long one. Wasn't a clip it wasn't a quick clap game, which is which is good. These games are interesting, but The Witch King is back. He got his heal. The Nazgul they only have uh they only have one heal. And it's on that guy. So if they lose him it's kind of kind of a big pain because you have a hard time healing your own your own Nazgul. You have to rely on other people to team heal, so he's back. Now this is where where things get sticky. Super dry? He can just go and base target. I mean Isengard's alive. Like Isengard can just slowly take Helm's Deep. And then it's even easier to take Don Harrow and so on. Even if they keep almost all of their forces engaged in this Tarath. Super Dry can uh, base aim with the over the pole. Oh, lampshade feeding. Uh, the mid game Nanskool are. Oh my god, Ensa. Holy shit, dude. He is just making pulls today. I was literally about to say that the mid game Nazgul are really strong. Like the level 3, level 4. Because they, uh. 
they can just really like lay down some quick AOE DPS, drop out, come back in. Like they got the mana, they got the levels for, oh man, this is a sexy fight, dude. Let's just appreciate this in its glory. We got like 10 mama kills, just itching, itching to get in there. Man, I don't even know what's happening, dude. Like, boom, boom, level up, level up. Looks like heroes are consolidated on the left side. They're just picking up units on the right. Capiche is going to keep them in his trap. They're going to, they're going to, yeah, okay. So this is where, this is that point where the levels on uh, the forces of evil are, are, are really going to start to make a difference. Because these guys are like pushing level six almost. That's how much more experience they have. I mean, Nazgul's got 10k experience, whereas these guys are still level 3, 4. Um, but anyway, I think the Fellowship really shines once you start getting some heroes to level 6 for those ultimates, because the ultimates can be pretty, uh, pretty wild. Just the level 6 events, whereas the Nazgul have a better... Oh, we're going to be creeping on look. Whoops. Oh. Is, are we going to see an Enza? Enza clap. Oh. Goodbye, Mary. Ha, <laughs> wrong crib. Man, I've never uh, seen Enza play this so well uh observers can oh they can't see unpicked no i guess not i mean uh forces of like i'd say at this point forces of Mm. I guess they still got spawns. I mean, it's not over. It's just not looking pretty. They're at full food. And uh, they're strung struggling to get Wampa up. Wampa's supply up. And I mean, again, like, this will fall eventually. Although this is good. Lurtz is uh, picking off some of Light Blue's spawns. The most striking thing is just the difference in uh, experience. I think uh, maybe maybe OMG is high as it's MVP so far. Well, Ellie's probably MVP. Ellie made some pretty good uh, plays. But I guess we got to see a winner first. <clears throat> and another one. All right. Yeah, it's true. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Jonas says, as long as Frodo's hammer is alive, Ellie can do the ring drop. Old Martin, I guess. Maybe Ellie's shared. So, yeah, they're probably banking on a ring drop. That's that's a pretty reasonable assessment. And they're starting to pick off spawns, so... Just have to keep, uh, just have to keep heroes tight. Stop Enza from uh, executing. Uh, that is not an amazing place to be, I'd say. I actually didn't know about this. Forces are under attack. 
And he, uh... Enzo's, Enzo's playing a tight game with his fucking, uh... With the Nazgul Burst. They've lost, like, three. I mean, I think all of Enzo's kills have been from, uh... Sort of isolated pick. I mean, he's just been taking taking down units. Boom, boom. Oh my god, another one, dude. Fuck. Having like. Enza MVP. Enza MVP, bro. It's like, it doesn't matter how much damage he's actually doing, like, this is a huge hit to morale, dude. You know, in the in their chat, they're just saying, What the fuck? Like, stop, stop poking out. Like, are you kidding me? You're just giving them free kills. Like, it's, it's, it's a psychological game at this point. But yeah, so, this is kind of a problem, I, I think, because Super J can just go in here. With his with his uh, knights, his Wayne Riders, he can try to kill Gambling, try to kill another one, and then just TP out. Like, will he do that? I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe this is some five head play by Wampa because he's trying to like soak EXP. It is a pretty defensible position, especially because you can keep building towers. But this is kind of a red flag. Oh man, this is just playing so greedy. Oh, they're gonna go in for the fucking push. Wampus, Wampus pulling out. Oh no, dude. I, I'm not even gonna narrate what's going on. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna enjoy it. Nah, I gotta narrate it, don't I? We got Legolas is following. I mean, Isengard's pushing in. They can stay tight. Right? Like, if they get the heals down, Frodo's dead, Paragon's dead. Yeah, nah, I don't know. This is looking a little rough. I mean, Super Dry got in there and they blocked their, their ability to retreat. He's like, hold, he's holding him at this, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably GG there. But, you know, I think it was lost, like, uh, they lost, uh, their lead, like, 15 minutes ago in that second fight. It was, like I said, like, yeah, it was going to be the first fight. First fight was still kind of... Game could have gone either way. And the second fight... The evil evil kind of had a... A bit of a lead. Oh, but they lost... All of their southern spawns. Minus... Near Harad, if that even spawns anything. Yeah, they're going to call it GG for sure. The question is... Oh, shit. How long has it been like that? GG. Do I... I don't know if I should, like, record two videos... Or just keep it in one video. Probably keep it in one video, I think. So we'll just we'll just keep recording. It's an intermission. I should save that replay. Let's see how the other game is going. BFME Martin vs. HKA2. Fucking tremendous game so far.
We gotta get insane peon in here. Anyway, we're in intermission now. Drover Tim's game is still going on, I assume. Did they already do two? Or are they on their second, I mean? Looks like they're still on their first. <laughs> so who are they swapping out? Lampshade? Or alerts. Wait, no. Who, who are they? Who did they just swap out? Auctioneer for... Wampa. So we're going to see one rotation. And the second game, we're going to see Auctioneer on Isengard. Martin on gray. Martin is like, I think gray is Martin's best color. Because honestly, Martin's like a sexy guy, but he's way better on gray than I've seen him on other factions. Like, he's fucking way too good at that color, bro. Like, I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Lurch seems like a... A seafaring main. We'll see if uh, Ellie's Nazgul is better than Ensa's fellowship. Capiche taking on the same role. Capiche and OMG, it's high. Role reversal. Red brown, red brown. Oh, and Broma and Bill subbing out for Lampshade. So. This is a pretty strong... Honestly, like, this this is going to be a fucking dope game. I feel like... Um... Martin's team was not as much in their element. On like the fact on those factions, I think that this is uh, pretty stacked looking. Yeah, it's a big match. Why not? It's a huge match. What's up? What up, Grizz? Apparently Enza is uh, MA. Yo, Grizz, we should play some time. We should do some... We should mess around in some matches. Oh, no, I don't want to become famous. What the fuck? Okay, I will, uh... Yeah, well, I'll explain what's going on. So, this is for the unacquainted, but also just getting to match two. We got a couple couple people who play ladder or not be it for me. Battle for Middle Earth tournament. This is match... I guess game one, match two, match one, game two, Team Martin versus Team HKA, uh, Team Martin lost last game, 
So they're swapping up good and evil. Uh, this is basically a 5v5. Can I explain more about Broman Bill's playstyle? I actually haven't seen uh, BNB play too much. Yeah, we, we got a little bit of a delay just to discourage uh, any foul play, you know? Like, if, if, the, if the delay was zero, it'd be like, it just, it'd be too easy, you know? Try to train Sithrin. You should, we should train, bro. All right, um, so, so I kind of introduced the players a bit. Uh, chances are, if you're watching, you, you already know how the mod plays out, but in case you don't, it's 5v5, spawn-based units, heroes don't revive. There are five different factions from the Lord of the Rings universe. You know, Gondor. So, like, red is Gondor, blue is Rohan, teal is, uh, I always forget, Dol Amarath. Purple's the Fellowship, yellow is Fangor, and so on. And same same thing for the bad guys. So this is the best of the best are playing. We got the we got the legend on Nazgul and Ensa MVP Ensa last game on purple. So let's let's see if we're gonna see an Isengard rush. So Grizz, basically this game is like it's competitive as competitive as it gets. And. Oh, what? Gandalf almost is surrounded Gandalf. Oh, Super Drive is going to get in there. Is Grima Wormtongue going to get blocked out? Oh, he slipped. He slipped. He slipped on that. He slipped on the sound a little bit. That was, uh, <laughs> that was pretty little. That was, that was a pretty crazy little interaction there. So Treebeard's gonna knock out these these trees. We're gonna get a proper Isengard rush. So the last time, as I said, you know, oftentimes, you know, they get in there in Isengard and they just tear a new one. Oh man, come on, bro, man, bro. <laughs> I can't talk about him like that. So last game we didn't see an Isengard rush. It's kind of. The meta has been disrupted a little bit, but not so much so that if the opportunity presents itself, you know, they're going to get in there. So, Isengard is basically fully invaded at the two-minute mark. I mean, the base is go like, the tower is going down. Fellowship taking damage. Martin coming in the back. BNB with the root, blocking at Grey. Nazgul coming in on... OMG, it's high. We got a surround on Elmer Zor. Oh, man. Oof. He slipped out of there. Teal's now coming in. Couldn't... The Witch King could not get away. We're going to get an engagement south. Uh, yellow and purple are going to... Skirmish with green up here. Celeborn gets bursted. Oh, Celeborn and... Uh, Brother Man Bill, dude. Broman Bill is taking hits today. Pal Pally Bob may be onto something. Where did we lose? Uh, where did we lose Light Blue Hero? Is it like on? Seems like maybe on a landing. Oh, Gandalf, with a sliver of health. So they're gonna reconsolidate north, try to take out the Nazgul. Ovitha is actually pushing. So they de they seem to have successfully defended Isengard. It's not uh, it's too early to to check scores. BNB lost two heroes, two important ones. The tower lives. <clears throat> they weren't able to kill many important heroes on the forces of evil. So it looks like uh, Team Martin is at a slight advantage for now until we can open up the, the leaderboard. Ooh, Grima. Just, what is that, a quick surround or what? We got a big fight shaping up. Cameron's just going to throw down to AoE. Frodo taking hits. Not sure if we saw a horn earlier. We did. It must have been in that first. Engagement. So they're split. Heroes are low. Haldir is 
maybe falling. Super Dry is going to come in on, on the behind. Man, yikes, dude. This game is a huge yikes. I don't know. Pretty tight game by both teams. Uh, it looks like experience-wise... It's like roughly equal. So... Hero kill-wise, it's... Roughly equal, too. Because one of the hero kills on... Uh, one of the hero kills was a Nazgul. It's like half a kill. Well. Well, well, well. I, I, I mean, I, I think... Evil kind of took a took a win there, a slight win, because they didn't lose Isengard when Good had a pretty definitive, pretty definitive uh, position in Isengard. They were able to split their focus up, redirect focus off of the tower. They were able to trade heroes pretty well. We didn't lose Harad over it. They're healing up. They are going to take a free Adoras. Where's Grand? That's the real question. Where is Grand hiding? That base aiming shitter. A player's forces are under attack. Attack. All right, they're uh, creeping Imrahil. It's ground like. Hidden somewhere? Oh, he, he's not even used yet. Capisha's not moved. The big guy. Um, so this is... It's best of three? So there are... It's team... Right now what's going on is team... We're watching Martin versus HKA. And then the other lobby is team Tim Tim versus team... Drover? And then the winners face off and the losers face off. So, you know, if depending on who wins this, we we play it, we watch another game or, or we don't. And then we get into the finals. So, uh, you know, pretty, uh, honestly, pretty great game so far. Like, both games have been pretty, oftentimes, like, BFME games can end in like four minutes like that 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 uh push on Isengard could have been like take Isengard kill 10 heroes like boom like all right one t one, one team but we, we've got nice proper uh team fights with complex engagements oh auctioneer Sharku down not surprised like we're probably gonna lose Oak Luck that's just really bad position he's blocking his own the panic He's blocking his own units. Can we get Lurtz out? Lurtz is down. Oh, that's uh, that's good. That's that's gonna make things a little bit easier for uh, for Ellie. So we're just gonna see like both sides are gonna throw down their AOE. We got some level ups in there. Are we missing anybody? No, it's just a one-on-one -on -one fight. Looks like Anborn got targeted. Ellie's gonna sit in the back. He's gonna probably focus on waving down units over trying to pick a hero. Whereas, oh, Enz is getting in there. Ooh, Anduf Andufun, I can't pronounce that goes down. Are they gonna lose a hero for it though? And the Martin Gray is, Samwise is getting real low. Team Hills, Team Hills, Team Hills. Looks like they're still gonna lose Samwise with an excellent counter engagement. Yeah, I don't know if the 
the green hero picks really matter too much. The legendary Ali uh, pause. All right, so recap in that fight. They got a good engagement. They were able to pick off two, three heroes. That we have like a flat, just two forces colliding, both sides trying to get the AOEs down. On the north, uh, Nazgul and like, so what the Nazgul are going to want to do is they're going to want to belt out their AOE in like the middle of the units as, as often as they can to try to clear the waves. Wait, what's happening? And uh, where purple comes, purple's strength is he can tank hits more. So he's going to want to get on the Nazgul if he can, if they push up too much. Oh, this is going to be a crazy on pause. So they're pushing their heroes. Super dry is now wrapping their way around. Treebeard is, oof, God, man, that that hurts. The question is, are they going to be able to push back, get the same amount of heroes back? Got some focus on gambling. Peregrine down. I don't know. It's not looking good for the. It's not looking good for Team Martin. I mean, Team HK. So it looks like uh, it might be a 1-1 one -one game. Nothing's over yet. I think, did we lose Frodo? Frodo's still alive. But uh, yeah, I mean, they just took too many hands, I think. Especially in that last fight. Like, if you just look at the difference in uh, experience again. Needed, like, a... You know... A little bit more team healing, probably. Losing uh, Celeborn and the other guy up here was... Was pretty bad. For that future sustained fight. Because I'm pretty sure they lost their team heal and their uh, three second entangle. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably going to be game. Like, they might be able to draw it out. Anyway, so the form, if you don't know, the format for this was it was a draft. So there's a team captain, and they just picked. They like, hey Luke, what's up? They just um, went in order and like picked person to person to person. So Martin was the first pick, and he picked Ali, for instance. You know, the most favorite. This is best of three. The most attractive players were picked first in order of how attractive they are. Their looks, of course, not how well they play. It's a very vain game. I'll just type this because there's a delay. It looks like they're going to play it out, so... All right, there might be a bit of a pick on uh, Umbar. A player's forces are under attack. I mean, it's not like they're that behind in theory. Like, Evil definitely has a lead, but they haven't lost any major spawns. Frodo's still alive. 
you could still ring dot uh, ring drop. I mean, purple lost a lot of his important heroes. Uh, Legolas, Mary, and Gimli are like pretty meh. Like when when you're left with just those three, and then Frodo, he's more around to get the the ring drop. Yellow's down to just Haldir, but he still has his spawns, brother man Bill, in his uh, parents' basement. Uh, I think he's actually probably one of the best players here because he lives in his parents' basement, as per Pally Bob's P Pale B B A B Z twelve. I don't know what the fuck's going on with your name, but <laughs> A player's forces are under attack. Oh, they're just gonna call it, All right. I should save the other replay. I should definitely do that. I think we just lost it, fuck. <clears throat> Whatever, we'll save this one. Okay, so that's game two. Um, where are we at? It's a 1-1. One, one. Honestly, I'm curious as to how they deal with the tiebreaker. Morning, everyone. <laughs> he just got intel that he moved out. All right, I'm gonna f I'm gonna do the coin flip. Hell yeah, this is why we're here. It's <laughs> gonna be sick, dude. All right, we're we're in a bit of an intermission here. Um, so if you you know if you missed the first game, if you uh, want to catch up, I'm put putting all these on YouTube like right after. So, uh, yeah, youtube.com slash blade master rush kappa. Raul.
other match is also 1-1. One, one. Wow. Fucking good games, guys. Impressive. Really, uh, glad that there's no stomps. Wait, is Kreisler really banned? Kreisler, were you not picked in any of these games? Wow, Krausel, you actually got banned, dude. What the fuck? Did you just not sign up? Krausel, did you not sign up as in, in protest? It's even here. All right, so we're just we're just waiting for the new game. We're waiting for everyone to return. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, right? You were banned? Who banned you? <laughs> it has to flip four times to be official. All right, all right, all right. This is it. It was Tails. All right, so they're gonna um, they're gonna decide which. Yeah, but you can turn quick cast off, Kraslow. <laughs> you don't get banned just for using it. You are not qu quick cast. This tournament was sponsored by a. Um, Male supplement company, Kraslow's Quick Cast. It's received a lot of uh, prejudice in the media. A lot of uh, a lot of people are against the use of Quick Cast, but you know, Kras Kraslow says uh, there's nothing better than you know than a quickie. <laughs> Kraslow's Quick Cast, Danish Quick Cast. I don't know. It's it's a Danish. I mean, it needs a better name. Okay. My choose evil. <laughs> I don't want to be famous. No, stop. These bonds, dude. I 
I gotta, I gotta remember to clip that. I don't know. I think this is pretty racist. Pretty racist against Danes. Just because Danish people use quick cast doesn't mean they shouldn't be allowed in tournaments. I don't know, sorry. I just I gotta poke fun at this whole quick cast thing just because it's like I get why people are upset, but it's like so. Uh, gets real heated in those chats, dude. Gets real heated in there. You'd think somebody just like fucking like spit on 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 someone else's mother. All right. So round 3 auctioneer is on good. So Wampa's still out. Poor Wampa. Womp womp. So we got like a little bit of a switch up. I think Martin was on the fellowship last time. Capiche is now on fellowship. Ellie on red. That's strong. Ellie on red is um Ice Cool Martin. I see you in there, Martin. You sexy thing. Ellie on red is a uh, Maybe a good switch. Not because Capiche on red is is bad, but because uh, Ellie's just, you know, it's really he's, he's a force to be reckoned with. And Auctioneer is, is a pretty decent, pretty decent Fang Orn. So red is is uh, takes on the role of leading the team often. All right, quick cast. Uh, I'll explain quick cast. We can I, I can just show you how. I can show you how OP quick cast is too, real quick. I can't, cause uh, I can't on this map. You can't do that. I mean, I will say like, as much as people hate it, like is also just really good. Like I use quick cast too. And like, look man, like, Everyone calls me trash, so I, I don't think it's the quick cast. Like, I, I really, like, not, like, I understand, I understand being against it. I think it's just funny, like, the whole, like, fight over it. Let's see if we can, like, squeeze one in. the wrong button to press. Well, basically, uh, you don't need to press, it's like quick cast in League of Legends, like you don't need to, um, you only need to do one click. So let's see if I can get this off like really quickly before the game starts. The hell's B for me? Then I'll do a little intro. All right, so quick cast, like, I'll show you why people don't like quick cast. Should be able to do this before the other game starts. Because with the Nazgul, you can, uh, I guess let's do the stomps. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. This 
is informational. Yeah, so you know how you like normally when you press uh, the button, you like you need to like like you press W right, and you get this. Uh oh, whoops. See, not everyone's good, but the general idea is that you can tab through and do it faster. Okay, well, I didn't show that off very well. It's easier to show with like a lot of units, like um, in the same control group. It just removes one. It just removes one action. Okay, so round, so game two, we're already a minute in, my bad. Um, sorry, game three, the tiebreaker. See, uh, abandoning Isengard this time around and pushing south, this is like, I think this is what I see more often now is like, rather than rush Isengard, there's kind of like a 50-50, like, they try to take, um, take control of Dol Gudur and like get in here or they'll, they'll even push south and leave uh, the forces of evil split. So, it's like we might see a 1v1 HKA versus Auctioneer. Auctioneer's just gonna pick off the outlying bases. Hey Jedi Master, what's up? So, yep, yeah, Ence is gonna. We got Enza back on the Nazgul. We'll see if uh, they they slip up and let Enza make any any more picks. Yes, uh, Jedi. We are we are mid tournament. We're in game three. This is a tiebreaker. Good versus evil. In uh, the timeless battle from the Lord of the Rings universe. Oh. Okay, we we might see a a, a fight start to shape up here. So we're we're down we're down yellow and green. Ooh. Evil is split. Is there a catch in there? Ooh, Carcerin, dude. They they fucking uh, they actually they took down the Higher Dream Chieftain. That's not not great for a free kill. Blue and gray, gray are engaging. This is not really a great fight. For Gray to be uh, taking, I think. But if they can get the flank, theoretically, they're in a good position. Yellow and green are just in a stalemate. So, uh, yeah. Good is a bit grouped up. That's going to make it really easy for the Nazgul to lay down AoE. We got a pick. Denethor just sliced out of thin air. Um, a lot going on. It looks like Super Dry actually made the correct call by engaging them in that small choke. And... Oh, man. We're... What, what, what are you doing, Enza? What, what are we going to see here? I mean, the Fellowship is, is level 2 on the Nazgul. That's going to make it very hard for... And he slips away. Forlorn. Ooh, Teal lost three heroes in this engagement. That's not great. Gwer died, but Obatho was able to recall the rest of them. So, that was a bit hectic. Evil got four kills. Good got two hero kills. Looks like good is up in experience, though. Ballpark. Yeah, but like 
so the fellowship is purple. So, you know, Gandalf, Aragorn, all the all the clowns. Isengard is retreating. I mean, who did who did uh who did who did good lost two of Teal's heroes? I don't know how important the heroes they are. I don't know how important those heroes were. Uh, evil lost like Carcerin and someone else useless. I think Guerre. I forget which one Guerre is. It's one of Gray's heroes. There's some some heroes are very important. So if you lose that hero, it's like, oh, yeah, that's 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 kind of a big deal. Uh, for instance, Gandalf. Um, I don't think anyone has lost any consequential heroes yet. Oh, actually, Denethor died, right? I think Denethor is decent. I forget though. What if one of one of these heroes has like a flame strike? I think that might have been Denethor. All right, so we're gonna see a delayed delayed Isengard push. Um, yes, yeah, so the Fellowship get events at level 6. I think there's a couple at level 5, too. So leveling them is, is imperative for success. A town is under siege. Turn up the gamma. I don't know how to do that. Is the color off? Forces are under attack. Hmm. Really, the colors are off. Well, I can try to fix that before the next fight. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Maybe that's better. Ah, uh, Denethor is not consequential. Alright, so nobody of consequence was lost. We're getting an Umbar target by Lurts. Losing Umbar is uh it's not a huge deal, but it's not something you want to give up for free. Let's just put it that way. Because it kind of gives Teal free reign to just pick off bases slowly with like 20, 30 food during fights. So that's a pretty early Umbar loss, I'd say. Like it's not a it's not a rush, but Giving it up without a fight. A town is under siege. Oh, got super dry. Trying to take a player's force. Karis Galadon. Man, I I do not got the. I don't have the. Almost. I don't have the pronunciation down for this stuff. Karis Galadon. I gotta like uh... a town is under siege. Oh shit, Grand is in here. This might go down. Umbar. Umbar. Oh, it's Umbar. Okay. Yeah, I gotta like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm staying around. I'm butchering it. I'm butchering it. All right, so they're probably willing to trade Gron for this. This base is a pretty big deal. The reason that 
uh, they actually built all these towers in front is to prevent the this sort of target. Uh, Gray's not even going to try to commit. They're going to try to get ground out. All right, so they just uh, they just fed ground. But we'll see if if they can get an engagement off of this. If they can catch say yellow out of place, trying to defend this, then you know losing ground may not be so bad, especially in a game where everyone knows the meta and everyone like towers up things properly and places units to scout properly. Then ground is not particularly consequential, and losing him is you know simply a trade a gambit a gamble if you will oh sh okay so super dry is going in on bear ground looks like he has this surround against his own units ellie flush flustered oh he slips out damn those are those are the kind of kills that uh they needed to lock down in this sort of fight oosh HKA blocked in by his own units. Auctioneer in a really good position. Fighting on two fronts. Oh, did we just get the horn? We got Martin flank. He's just picking off units. Oh, we got a lockdown on Samwise. Potential surround. He's going to get out. Martin's pulling back. Let's look at the scoreboard. So it looks like... It looks like good is favored. Although Auctioneer is a little experience deprived. Eh, I would, I would, I'd say it's too early to tell. I don't know if there's favored yet. We're probably going to want to see like a a real fight first. Both teams are just... See, yeah, Alerts is just going to have free reign over the sea now. It's going to be able to just bomb reinforcements. You know, pull a couple of units every once in a while. All right, we're gonna see the super dry engage. Or are they just picking off a few units? I mean, taking those those uh, those ants, those are good XP. Tree beard. Uh, the root goes down. All the heroes are, are bundled. We got a lockdown on Dwar. One of the Nazgul gets burst. Treebeard in the front, taking hits. Oh, Martin right behind. Lurt's right behind. This is now not so great of a position for light blue and green. Fortunately, the Nazgul pulled out in time. Uh, Lampshade is gonna be in a tough spot. Fortunately, Brown is coming in. They're probably going to want to retreat this way. Um, other than that, everyone just seems to be trying to get the best out of the engagement. Although it looks like... Zoldan is getting focused. Oh, Treebeard is a bit out of position. Treebeard is probably going to go down with that. Although he won't go down without a fight. Seems like he won't go down. I think maybe going ethereal. I think that was a that was a evil spell. That might have been a mistake. Super dry is gonna need to over the here. Yeah. Yes. Every uh, the Nazgul revive once after like six minutes or something like that. I thought it was six minutes, but sometimes it feels like it's longer. Okay, Imra Eel is level fucking five. I think that's a big deal. Um, we got Ulluk is uh, 
taking camps. Oh, we just got Grima chilling in uh, the tower. It's not even he's not even bothering with uh, Grima. OMG Atai is actually playing around Isengard. Um, so I don't remember if Imrahil is the one with the spawns or what, but level almost level 6 is a pretty good um, position for alerts to be in. All right, sorry. Let's uh, let's recap. Good is at a hundred food across the board. Ellie's at one hundred twenty-three. Evil is definitely lacking in food, although HKA is full population, so that might be enough to hold Isengard if Enza can make the picks while they wait for more spawns. Although, oh, I mean like. See, like, yeah, it's going to be hard to hold this. We'll see what happens. We got Engage going. Eomir. Man, Enza, MVP, dude. Enza's just always making picks. Eomir. Is Horn up? They're going to try to go after the Nazgul, likely unsuccessfully. Oh, over the... Oh, he doesn't see. He moved over the forward. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, that's, that's not what you want to see. That is a big loss. That is a consequential hero. Oh, it's like Enza traded one of the, the Nazgul back. Maybe he got caught. I kind of missed it. Well, anyway, evil is just biding their time. They know that good is like full food, right? So as time goes on in this particular moment, Good is taking advantage of the situation by picking a couple heroes, a but evil is also catching up in terms of full army. Although green, although light, sorry, although light blue is going to have a harder time restocking just because they lost Umbar. Uh, but good is, is definitely up. But not not so much so that that the game's over. Look at this idle timer on Lurts, dude. Lurts is uh a forces are under attack. really making heavy moves this game. Ellie's moving in on Gothmog, getting a bit of a split. Oh, now that's just gonna be a waste of. Of orcs. Yeah, I, mean, I think it, it's again, it's either going to come down to one big battle, or one side takes a definitive lead by clapping a bunch of heroes, or it's just going to be this for another ten minutes. Okay, this could be big if he can actually take. Lothlorien. Now the problem is he doesn't have Ovitha to get away. And Kurgoth almost got down, so he can't really stay in here. He can suicide his whole army for the base. Uh, Brown's going to play intermediary. Oh, we got a surround on Faramir-like. 
not not quite a uh, look. Uh, it's high might just be uh, feeding a bit, losing a couple memo kill just to trickling in. So they're gonna go and defend that. They're not even gonna get the base. This is not great. This is not looking great for uh, evil at this point. They really need to get in there. Otherwise, Gray is going to lose everything, and they're going to get nothing out of it. Yeah, that's uh, that's a bit of a tough, bit of a tough situation. They're going to try to trade bases, but it's just not going to be enough. I mean, Gray lost everything there. They were just too split. So it looks like uh, Evil's going to need to put in work. Worse. Good is going to need to fuck up terribly for able to, to pull this back, I think. A town is under siege. Like, they weren't even able to take a full Fangorn. They're just playing to split, I'd say. Why did uh, why did he put Grimma in here? Was that just to stop soaking XP or something? A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Hypothetically, uh, they suicide. I don't I don't see it happening with full full food, but I guess evil's full food too. Just slightly under. So I guess it is still anyone's game and it's how they play it. But Good's really gonna need to get themselves caught, especially with the fellowship like maybe even full fellowship at level four. Whilst the uh, Nazgul are sort of a bit behind at level 3. Horn goes out. Oh, do we have... Yeah, Martin is just picking off units that are going to reinforce. Looks like Teal might get caught. Teal's whole army is going to get caught. So that could even things out. Although Brown has been effectively isolated. They're down in hero levels. We got some idle units. It's not, I guess it's not a bad position for evil because they have less units. Like they want to be in that choke, but ooh, Shagrat down, Imrahil down though. Although I still think it's oh gambling what looks like super dry just pulled a quick surround on gambling. We lost uh, Nazgul, but that's you know he revives. Yeah, it's uh what is it? Good has five five uh ten hero kills. Evil has seven hero kills, but um. Like, some of those hero kills are Nazgul, so it's like, you know what I mean? I mean, this is going to be a problem. Like, Gandalf at level 5. Are under yeah. Good, the, the good team has a very strong level advantage. 
I mean, if Capiche is able to get level six on some of these heroes, it's, um, I mean, forget a ring drop, just, just like Gandalf ultimate or Aragorn's event. I mean, so you could say Capiche is 12k XP, and says almost at half. I mean, the whole the whole good team is maybe even like double. No, double would be a stretch. They're 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 quite up in experience. Oh, I missed a tree beard get. My bad. Man, Enza, dude, Enza's fucking MVP. He is just making the plays, although. We got Boromir, we got Legolas going up to five. This is where things get dangerous. Because once those Fellowship heroes, like, start hitting six. Yeah, I slept for, like, four hours. They, like, man, they become hard to kill, dude. Especially with, like, maxed out team heals. Like, you can just you can just throw Gandalf in the middle of something. And, like, could he die? Yes. But it's it's going to be it's going to be hard to kill him. And then the Gandalf's pretty squishy. A player's force is our well, not squishier than a hobbit, I guess. But, but, but. Evil has really only lost Umbar. Like, Isengard stands. So, uh, oftentimes this game comes down to... Spawns. Oh, Saruman, what, where did he die? All right, well, that's bad. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say uh, good is, is gonna win this for, for, for the time being. I mean, there's still max food. Evil's just kind of, it's, oh, it's just looking better and better. Ellie's almost ultimates, almost at ultimates too. And Ellie's like one of those players where like if he has his full power, like he almost counts as two players. Oh, do we got the pick on Anborn? What? Crazy plays. Oh my god, it didn't happen. Oh, and they're gonna lose they're gonna lose Gothmog for it. Shameful, dude, shameful. That's what you get for stepping to the uh to to the legend. Man, anyone who names themselves after um after a lord of the rings character bro i just i just stepped the fuck back dude i just like i bowed it anyone who's like who, who who's named after somebody from lord of the rings and plays this game like once a day i'm just like you are you are superior to me i mean we got like isn't this guy ellie's named after Was it Aragorn, Elsor, or whatever? There's like so many people who have fucking lurts, dude. He named himself after a goddamn orc. That's terrifying. <laughs> Just some random orc. What is that noise? Oh, time to okay. Yeah, so now uh, Lurtz is going to be able to push the southern bases. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. This is, what is my going rate? It's, um, look, man, I don't know if I can talk about this on Twitch, but if you give me your Snapchat, like, you know, where even, says Drover. Um, I just like to, you know, talk, uh, talk about, I just like to talk shit about people in between fights. Uh, yeah, so who's the worst player in the game? Just, like, oh, Lampshade, fuck that guy. 
Just kidding, just kidding. Oh, uh, Lurtz kills Boromir? Oh, wow, yeah. Lurtz is not... Lurtz is not random. I think Capiche is pretty sexy. Like... You ever meet someone named Capiche? Like... Like the... Fucking... What is that called? It's not like an idiom. It's, it's like some... It's like... Man, I can't Google it right now. Mob bosses use it. That's my impression of the word. A player's forces are under attack. I think we're just uh yeah, O W O. We're just waiting for, for Ellie to I mean they could still suicide, like evil is at full pop like it is a full full pop first full pop uh i would say that they have such a lead that there is no way they could lose it but you know it just might take 30 minutes because they don't want to make up like a poor engagement right or they might be uh, waiting for events yeah, Capiche, uh, really solid play. I mean, I'm a big Ensa fan. Just in this this uh, this three match series, I think Ensa was like making really solid plays. Like Ellie is just it's hard to uh, it's hard not to give Ellie credit. I slept for like three hours. Gosh. Oh, Italian, yes. Capiche means, do you understand? This guy's name is a question. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like Capiche, like, I don't know. It's great. But they're just taking, they're just taking free bases. I think Lurtz has been, like, um... I feel like Lurtz has dominated. I don't remember where he was playing in the first game. Lurtz has, has been has been pretty strong. Enza has been pretty strong. I mean, HKA has played a tight game of just holding Eisengard. There's really no... There's really, like... Everyone's kind of... What deserves their own little accolade, I'd say. And I'm not just saying that. Like, I doubt they're definitely... Uh, they're definitely more... They're definitely shitty players out here. Like myself. People have been pretty good with just rotating and um, picking intelligent fights. Light blue has no castles. Oh, right, because he lost all his bases. Capiche just might be able to uh, push. Like he's he's not gonna be that ballsy, because Capiche, I like my impression of Capiche is he's he's a pretty like safe player. Like he's a, that's that's why we're here with a full, with a full um, here full fellowship is you know he doesn't he doesn't take risks that Martin might he doesn't take risks that Enza might he just uh. Plays a, he plays a little bit of a longer game, which doesn't always play out well. Sometimes you need to take those risks. But I think that for this game, Capiche is uh, the fellowship may be needed to be a conservative player. And uh, I think that Blue Martin is far better at the... Well, just from my experience with Martin... He's uh he's good at the mobile factions. I like gray and blue. Yeah, not much to shout cast now. We're just waiting for the fight. 
Oh, look at that one Urkai, dude. He's gonna get it. Also, look at that portrait, dude. It's a tiny little guy. It's like a figurine. This is all towered up. Yeah, I mean, it's not over. It's definitely not over. Just one side is a uh, pretty favor. But, uh... You know, the... The Eagles lost the Super Bowl, right? You know? Everyone has its day. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm like, I'm a big health bars guy, but I try to turn them off. I should probably play. I don't know. Like, what do you, what do you guys think I should shoutcast on? Shoutcast on off, and then, I mean, we have time. At least for the, for the second game. I could do, like, off, and then just turn on the health bars. The problem is I miss heroes a lot when I have them off like this. So I need to do this, like, often. So, like, I feel like a lot of the calls um, are like, oh, like, this hero's getting targeted. Like, whoa, we got killed. And sometimes I miss it in just the crazy, crazy fights. All right, Sharku's creeping. They're trying to get their level fives. Hypothetically, like, if if uh, evil is able to creep their, their units up, well, of course, Ellie is, is leading in unit kills, hero kills, and morale. The drama between players. A player's are under There's not much drama in this game. The drama's in the other game. The Drover Mods vs. Sky Plague Eternal Battle. The, um... The history of the game. I don't know. I don't, Jonas could probably talk about the history. Haven't <laughs> you heard that capiche? Oh, shit. Holy Mary just lived like... See, this is... All right, all right, all right. We're, we're, we're back in it. We're back in it. Evil's fighting on a choke, which is gonna... It's gonna go well for them. If they can get the, the right bursts off. Like, Enzo's still... Still has all of his Nazgul. They may not be as high level, but they're still able to put out a lot of damage in a very short period of time. The Mumba kills still le still live for now, but I think Evil's just gonna have to play a uh, yeah yeah. You know, I'll, I'll do this next game. I'll just do the tab on. Um, Anyway. Yeah, the health bars. I like the health bars, but I can understand, like, visually. It's just a bunch of bars. Oh, we have a... Uh, Sauron I went down here, I guess, a while ago. So they're going to fight on two fronts. Capiche is, like, getting in there. Light blue is coming from behind. They might flank yellow. I don't know how successful they will be at it. Feeding Soladan. Uh, I mean, at this point, Capiche is able to just sit the Fellowship in the middle of a fight, auto attack, lay, lay some abilities down, heal. Like, he's got, what, full Fellowship? Oh, Samwise goes down. Well not full anymore he's got full he's got fucking eight ultimates that's scary i don't even know what some of the like fellowships ultimates do i think some of them are trash but some of them are pretty good i know that like aragorn six and gandalf six is strong because i think aragorn you can get some eagles too and then frodo you can obviously do the ring drop Anyway, uh, 
own thing. This is, as we've been talking about, still probably Good's game. Just, uh... What's that? Just, um... You know, like, they're playing the game out, like, props to them. Like, they could have quit 15 minutes ago and said, like, oh, GG, it's not looking good. But they, they put up a fight that's, uh... That's sportsmanship as far as I'm concerned. You know, that FF command can be pretty toxic. Oh, what happened? Did the stream go down? Huh. Weird. Well, hopefully it's back. <laughs> A player's forces are under attack. I guess alerts as a uh, windwalk as an ultimate. The scout of Isengard falls. Are we gonna see a raindrop? All right, Martin's Martin's pushing. All right, so HKA. Yeah, they're gonna call the forfeit. So, pretty, pretty exhilarating best of three. Team Martin versus Team HKA. Huge GGs. Uh, Team Martin takes takes the win in the tiebreaker on good. I don't know who to give. Uh, yeah. But Jonas says evil could have won the game, but good always had the upper hand. I mean, I don't know. I'm not even going to give out MVPs. I'm just going to say that pretty much everybody played well. It was rare for, for poor play was rare. It was just, um, fighting over objectives and, you know, some fights, some people targeted some heroes better or, there were some flanks that were better than others. I'd say that this game Capiche like really uh held the victory together. Like let's say Capiche lost some heroes earlier on. You know, it may not have been as as resounding of a win. Like those you know, Gandalf matters a lot. Like some some of these heroes, like the healing has a big effect. I mean look at look how much healing the fellowship did over the course of this game. Look how much Ellie did too. You know, losing Aragorn or Boromir early can really affect the game as it gets into the later portions. And Enzo was just uh, pretty crazy with his picks, even though they weren't enough. But it's not always... I mean, hero picks are not everything. All right, sick. Um, yeah, so I'm going to throw this on YouTube right now. Like, follow, subscribe. Um, I guess I'm going to check Discord. I guess it's the finals now. If anyone wants to co-cast, by the way, like from the, from the BFME. Yeah, I should say this replay could catch. I should have saved the first replay. Hopefully somebody else saved it. So, all right, like, follow, subscribe.